Now, if there's ever a rant you're not going to see or hear on the mainstream news, it's this one, which is about the media in North America. Before I get onto that, though, please subscribe and donate because otherwise we are not going to be on the air. And we try to put guests together and rants together that you may not always agree with, but it is an analysis that is clear and not paid for by the PMO. And what I'm talking about is that North American media, that big, that big chain that makes sure that everybody thinks that, one, Harris is going to win. She may, she may not. Years ago, that Hillary Clinton was going to win before she talked about the deplorables because mainstream news in the United States didn't care about the voters in Milwaukee. I'm talking about a news organization in Ottawa who puts out a weekly analysis and they had gushing reports about an, ar an article where someone from outside Canada was saying Canada should be so blessed with loving this prime minister in this cabinet because it's doing such a good job. Didn't talk about people struggling to make ends meet, just talked about the fact that we are bringing in millions of people, doesn't say anything about the fact that they have nothing to do and they're costing a lot because we aren't bringing in those who are trained. Didn't mention the fact that our prime minister said, get out when people wanted to buy clean burning LNG and it would have been billions and billions of dollars to, for Canadians. Didn't talk about the problems we have. And this news organization just said, this is just so lovely. This is what Canada's all about. To which I say, baloney. The ivory towers in Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal are filled with people being paid by the government who just want everything to be terrific. And they are saying that they are saying that everything is good, which means that other press has to say that it's not exactly as rosy as that. And what's coming down in Canada and in the United States, really, is there are two divides and people are being polarized. There are very few people in the middle. And this show has people coming out on both sides. It tries to be moderate. It tries to cut through the baloney, which is what I'm trying to do right now because so many journalists, as I quoted uh, one, another one out of Ottawa on this show a few weeks ago, saying that Canadians should, not, should stop talking about it being broken. Because Canada's not broken, we should be so proud of the fact that we have great relations with Indigenous people in Canada. Baloney, the government's blown it. We should be so proud of the fact that the resource industry is doing so well. Baloney. These are the misconceptions which are being put forth. And when there's misconceptions on the left, that breeds misconceptions on the right, and that's where we're getting this tremendous divide. So, my point is that we are being let down by the mainstream news, and we have to start being more Canadian. We have to start being more middle of the road. As when I talk to people where I live at Buckhorn, they want to have a decent living, they want to have jobs, they want to have clean air, clean water, and they want to have a society where you do not have drug addicts taking over the middle of town. It doesn't happen in Buckhorn, but it happens in Peterborough. So my point to you is, let's go for normalcy. Let's go for being really true Canadians. Three minutes. To those of you who have subscribed and donated, a heartfelt thank you. You're keeping us on the air. If you're watching and you haven't, please try to do so because Four years ago, we started this show because there needed to be independent analysis. Now more than ever, with the Online Harms Act, once that gets into law, it's been passed once by the House, there are going to be hundreds of bureaucrats censoring the news in Canada, censoring this show. We need to keep it on the air. Thanks for your support. <music>